Okay, then component three, this is where you get to do a video of yourself with your kids. And you really have to show up. You have to have your face on it at some point. But it's not like this. This would be a really bad video for component three because I'm lecturing. Although we're having some discussion, it's really bad teaching. And in component three, you really have to have interaction. You have to have engagement. You have to have students that discuss and talk with each other to work out problems. And that students ask you questions and you probe questions. And today, I got here a little early. The librarian was, or the media specialist. What are, you, are we calling you librarian or media specialist? Kind of in transition right now from what I'm hearing. Media specialist, okay. Uh, I was at a meeting where I heard it's going back to librarian, so I, that's why I was asking. But I was just eavesdropping, and you said, well, how would you do that? Or it was something like that. I was reading your lips, really, and couldn't hear you. <laughs> and the student said something, because I would just, you know, he had his back to me, and then you said something else. You were probing him. You weren't asking, you know, what's the state capital of Arkansas? You were saying, how do you know that? How does that happen? Or, or why do you know that? Those probing questions, that's what got to show up in your video. Uh, and then your students have to be able to do that with each other. So it takes some training to get them to that point. So this is why most people do their video usually at the late part of the first semester or even after Christmas, because it just takes time to train them to do this. And you kind of have to train yourself too, so that you're not asking just direct questions. You're asking those problem-solving, critical type probing questions. You're getting them in groups and they're problem solving and there truly has to be engagement. Now that sounds like test evaluation, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It sounds like pathwise, doesn't it? So if you've had any of that training, which I guess by now you do, don't you? Mm -hmm. You're, you have a great foundation. Charlotte Danielson, she actually worked with National Board early on and her influence has been pervasive. Uh, the woman must be a millionaire, billionaire, I'm not sure. You know, she was at the conference too, and she spoke. You know, it's really interesting listening to her. But anyway, component three is about the video, but it's not really about the video. It's about how you analyze what you do. So you do this 15 or 20 minute video. Every certificate area is a little different on the time. Sometimes it's 15, sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's five, and then it's 10, or sometimes it's just one continuous stream, and there's no editing on this. Those of you who have friends who have a videography business, they're of no help to you because you can't have this. You just set it up like this and you go. I mean, that's basically the way this works. And then you tape for, let's say, 50 minutes and you go, okay, this 20 minutes is what's good. I'm going to pull out that 20 minutes. That's what I'm going to send in. And then you analyze it. And you analyze it. How, did, how is it that Jacqueline was able to do what she did in that lesson? What did you set in place for her to be successful? And what was it that Charlie was able to do or not able to do that you later had to go back and work with Charlie? So you do a lot of analysis. So it's not so much about what you look like, how you sound, because you have to get over that. Mm -hmm. Because the assessors are so well trained, they will not even hear that you are from Arkansas. Mm -hmm. They will not know that you have your favorite corduroy skirt on, you probably should have gotten rid of it three months ago or three years ago. Those kinds of things don't matter. What matters is engagement with the students and your analysis of why you did what you did in that video and how you got results. So component three has all to do with your engagement with your students. The video is the evidence of what you did. In some cases, you do have to provide evidence of materials. Like you may have to send in a photograph of the science experiment uh, equipment that you use. Or you may have to send in the Venn diagram that you all put together and you took a picture of it because it was on a great big chart and you have to send it in in an eight by eight and a half by 11. So you take a picture of it and you, and you send that in as evidence. Every certificate is slightly different on that. Some of you, you will not send in anything except the video video and your analysis and reflection. Are we good? Okay with that one? So and then component four, which by the way, <laughs> I've, I've kind of got ahead of myself here. This revision is still in the growing process, which means this coming year, 2014-2015 candidates will only have available to do components one and two. That's all that will be ready. That's it. Then, in 2015-2016, component three will get rolled out. It has not been worked on yet. It is in the process. 
And then 2016, 2017, component four. So this is going to be rolled out over the next three years, which is so different than what we've ever done before. And it's just because it's not ready. Remember, Ron mm -hmm. Thorpe became president in 2012. In his first year as president, he said, this is what I want, let's get it done, but let's do it right. So he's taking it slow. His staff is doing it the right way. So that means it's going to be slow launching. I'm okay with that. It does cause you to have to spend three years if you start this coming year. That's what that means. But that's not a bad thing. I've worked with a uh, whole school staff, and we've done take one together. I One year I would work with, on leadership t uh, training with them. The second year we all did take one. Take one is where national board had chosen one videotaped entry, and we all did that one, and we submitted it. So for a whole year, all of my take one candidates learned the process. <coughs> they spent a lot of time on one entry, learning the writing style. And then the next year, they were able to use that score and not have to redo that entry when they became a full candidate. Every one, every one of my Take One candidates that went on to, to be a full National Board candidate are in BCTs today. I truly believe that they spent a whole year learning the process instead of jumping into the whole thing. So I see that advantage. I do see the disadvantage of your, oh, I gotta do this the whole three years. That's okay. You can do it slow, take it easy, really spend some time on it, and then when you finish, maybe, you know, maybe you'll achieve the first time. So, will you know, will you know if you pass each component as yeah. you go? Yes. That's a good thing. And that's another beauty to the way this is working out. When these two are rolled out, You'll work on it in 2014, 2015. You'll get your scores by December 31st, 2015. If your score is at least at the minimum base, uh, that hasn't been rolled out yet, but it's been 2.75, <coughs> then you keep those scores. You keep them, and you'll know them that December after you submit in May. Let's say that you don't uh, hit the score, and you've got to retake. Well, you get two more years to retake for these two. And then in the second year, you'll do component three. Will you still get the full three years for component three. And then in the third year, you'll do component four, and you still get the full three years. So you really have five years in this current rollout process. Now actually, every candidate from here on out until there are more changes, has a full, full five years, because remember, it's pay as you go. If you Once it's all rolled out, if you want to do component one the first year, component two and three the second year, component four the third year, you still have the full five years. Yes, ma'am. I want to make sure that I heard you right. So we will not know if we've passed component one and two when we've already started component three. We'll have yes. started three before we know our score for one. Right, the scores are not promised until December 31st. But as we know, yeah, scores yeah. usually come out, for, uh, it's now Saturday, Saturday before Thanksgiving. But we would have, should have already started. You would have already started Component 3, yes. You would. Yes, ma'am. So my other question was, if we do the state money and get approved for that, do, how does that all work? If you get approved, you are approved for the full $1,900. Okay. What about the three years that you have yeah, to stay in like a song teach? Do those count? I don't know how. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, that would mean that you would be in Arkansas for eight years. Forever and ever and right? ever. Yeah. Okay. yeah. When, when Michael Rowland and I do the video, his part of it is all the legislation. Okay. So he will have all of that hope. Maybe that's why we haven't done the video, and that one hasn't been worked out yet. But, okay. but that's his part. My part is the five core propositions. I could do the fun part. But sh surely he'll have all of that worked out when we do the, the orientation so, video. I know $75 is pretty trivial, but so that $75 for all three years. It's seventy five dollars the first year, seventy five the second, seventy five the third, yes. Yeah. So if you don't pass the first and the second, you we pay for that component. Is that yeah. If you don't achieve, not, I yeah. have not seen yeah. the retake prices, the current retake prices, 
or $350 per retake. So let's just say that that's it. I don't know. I have not seen the retake prices. I don't know that it's even out anywhere. If you have to retake component one, then that would technically, right now at the current pricing, it would be $350. Plus, you're paying $75 because you're in Component 3 in that second year already. But you can retake Component 1 at the same time you're doing Component 4. Yes, right? yes. You have three years on each, from the time you begin a component for three years. That's what you have. Now, there will be a time, you know, there's, there will be a time in this third year when someone could start the process and do all four components in one year. It's just you're here at the beginning of the revisions. You're here at the launching. So you could choose to go ahead and start it this coming year, or you could choose to wait. You know, you have that choice. You do. Yes, an over question over here somewhere. This may be a really it's per year. It's, it's one registration. Per component. Right, one registration fee a year. And even now, candidates have to pay $65 a year to be candidates. So it's, it's gone up $10. Two, we're going to talk about where component three might be a whole group of students or it might be two groups that you videotape while the others are doing something. The other piece to this is some certificates, not all of them, but some are very specific and they will actually say, let's say in component three, that this component can contain no lessons or units that have been used in any of the other components. It doesn't mean you can't use ways you get to know your kids. It doesn't mean you can't use um, strategies that you've used in the past. It just means you can't do component three in uh, uh, World War II when you had World War II over here in component one. That's all that means. And you do lots and lots of lessons and units. Lots of them. The directions are your Bible. The standards are what's going to get you to heaven. It's really, a, that's the best analogy I've ever known to use. Your national board standards that go along with your certificate, that's your ticket to the pearly gates. You learn those standards, you know them in and out. I'm not talking about Common Core, Benchmark, Frameworks. I'm talking about the national board standards that are connected to your certificate that are on the national board website today. You can look them up. When you know those in and out, and you know the five core propositions, the directions are the rules to the game. When you put that together with knowing your students, and that's how you have success in that triangulation. And that's what we spend the most amount of time in our class. Because I've just found, if we dig into those standards really deep, we dig into the scoring rubric. We really learn the directions, like can you use the same lesson in another lesson? Does it have to be small group or large group? What do these questions mean that it's asking me to analyze? When you really know that, then you win the game. It's like playing Monopoly. Remember when you were a kid, you learned very early, you go into debt early, you buy up all those hotels, and then everybody pays you money, and you get out of debt, and you win the game. The directions are like Monopoly. You just learn the, the game and then you put your strategies in place.